Let's talk about the so-called steroid players here, Peter, because Bud Selig's getting in. He was voted in by uh, what's now called the Today's Era ballot, I guess, formerly the Veterans Committee. And if he, you know, obviously he he did he did a lot. He was there for quite some time. The, the wild card, I think, is a tremendous addition to Major League Baseball's playoffs and something that should live forevermore. Um, but he uh, was the guy who was there when the whole chicks dig the long ball was uh, advanced and then no longer became very funny. And if he is getting into the Hall of Fame and managers whose wins and losses were definitely affected by players who were tainted by steroids, why shouldn't the players be allowed in? Well, I think it is a really good point. And I've really come to the point where there, baseball really didn't direct it. I think it goes back before um, I was actually talking to Tom Verducci about a couple of guys from um, that I think were they're revered um, that people would never think of and that in, from the uh, 70s and 80s that um, I, I'm actually – I don't know, but I, I think they probably were um, later in their careers. Um, and, you know, the longevity definitely helped them get, it, get into the Hall of Fame, just as, I mean, the amphetamines was a great piece written in on uh, fan graphs last year um, uh, uh, about the, the impact of amphetamines, which, which were, they're now banned, but, People are oh they didn't they didn't add to home runs well they they did I'm sure there are 500 home run guys and people who get in because of that that supposed magic number that they wouldn't have gotten there without being able to greeny and greeny up um, two three days a week sometimes every day hmm. so I mean I'm really at the point once baseball put in the testing program which began in the 2005 season. If a guy flunks the drug test uh, unequivocally, th at that point, I say, too bad, you're out. And Rafael Palmero, I mean, he had uh, 3,020 hits, and he had, I think it was 589 home runs. He didn't make it because he was in that first year when he was suspended, and he, he, he never – Never got for. He would have been voted in had it, had it not been for that suspension. Manny Ramirez to me is not. I would never vote for Manny Ramirez as much as I love Manny as a person, and realize he was a great hitter. But um, and I think the same thing is going to happen with Alex Rodriguez. I mean, uh, he's not going to get in either because hmm. he broke baseball's laws. And people say to me, "Well, steroids were illegal in the '80s and '90s, and they were." In certain areas of society, but I mean, you know, I mean, do we then take Babe Ruth out of the Hall of Fame because he drank during Prohibition? No, I mean, uh, uh, and also the, the business of whether guys use Andro or whatever it is, but um, and that's McGuire was admitted to being one. Bagwell admitted to it, but I mean, I can remember going to the, this gym in in, uh, in Boston. Um, you know, I didn't exactly turn out looking like Jeff Bagwell or Mark McGuire, but it's, uh, I would be in it. And that stuff was available all the time. Train, there were trainers who, you know, used that stuff with, they had no, with athletes or people who wanted to be ripped. They had no idea how, how, you know, what they would turn out to be. There was a lot of that fat burning stuff. There was a pitcher with the Orioles. I can't remember his name. He's a minor league pitcher. He died from using that stuff. Oh my gosh. Um, and so, yeah, there was so much that we didn't know, and I I don't think Bud really knew it and understood it. And also, if baseball didn't guide us, guide players or us at that point between the commissioner's office and the, the players' association, you know, maybe we we should be keeping these guys out. And uh, I feel you know, there's a retro retrospective with with McGuire now. You say, you know, maybe. He should have been. Uh, he should have been uh, lasted longer in the voting, and maybe you know when they get to whatever era that the, he, he gets into, maybe he ends up making it. Wow. I don't think he will, but I think that it, it might be fear that he is. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.